Hey there, it's Bertus here from Montview Nature Farm. And today I want to tell you about one of the cool features that we have at one of our houses. This is only available currently at the wood cabin. Um, and that is a telescope that we leave here for our guests. So if you come and visit us, you're welcome to use the telescope to view the landscape, uh, try and search for animals, uh, gaze at the stars, specifically the moon or the planets. You can look for star clusters or nebulas even. Um, anything can be watched with this telescope. So in this video, I just quickly want to tell you a few of the features of the telescope and show you how to use it to view something on the farm. So I hope you enjoy it. Right, so you can see the telescope that we have here is the Celestron AstroMaster 130 telescope. It works with the equatorial mount, so it, it's not automated. You need to use your hands to adjust it. So I'm going to just quickly tell you the easiest way to find an object and to look at it. So... The first thing you want to do is to use this little thing called the red dot viewfinder to find your object. So first, switch it on at the knob on the right hand side. Right. Off. On. Then, if you stare through it, you will see a red dot. Now, move the telescope until you align the red dot with your chosen object. So into the distance there, I can make out a few animals. It's too far to properly see with the naked eye or even with a phone. And that's why we're going to use the telescope. Right. So I think I've aligned it pretty much okay now. And then the next step would be to look through the eyepiece, which is here. Make sure the cover is removed. Make sure the cover on this side is also removed. And just remember to replace it when you're done viewing. Keep on looking through the eyepiece until you find your object. And there we can see... Springbuck antelopes. If you want to move a little bit left or right, use the small adjustment knobs to adjust it slightly. If you want to change the magnification, you can change the lens over here. So the only thing I recommend you do is to remove the standard lens. And in its place, you put in the Barlow adapter. So the Barlow adapter basically doubles the magnification of any lens. Tighten it. Then inside this one, enter the normal lens. Tighten it properly. If things are a bit hazy, not in focus, Try to use this knob on the right hand side to adjust the focus until the picture is as clear as possible. You can see with the Barlow lens, it's much more magnified. And even at a distance like this, which is about 800, 900 meters away, you can clearly see the animals and how they're eating. And spy on them a little bit. And when night time comes, then you've got the beautiful views of the stars, the moon, and the planets. That is, if it's not cloudy like today. Usually here in the Karoo, it's open skies, it's dark, there's no lights in sight, so it makes for excellent stargazing. Also feel free to use the, the Astro uh, book that we have here that tells you a little bit more about how to find the stars, what to look at, all the different galaxies and um, 
There's also apps on your phone that you can download, like a mobile observatory that will be that will help you to find all the specific stars and objects in the sky. So I hope this was useful. I hope you come and visit us. And when you book this house, feel free to try out the telescope. And I hope you enjoy it just as much as we enjoy having you here. This is Bad to here from Montevideo signing out. And I'll see you again soon. Please remember to click the like button and the subscribe button. And also the notification button next to the subscribe button. And you'll be notified of all the new videos that we upload as soon as they become live. Please let me know what type of videos you would like to see more of. And we'll try to get uh, more videos created for you to sh uh, just share this special place uh, with you as well.